Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Aisha Lagunju and if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. On this channel, I share my life experiences as a Nigerian living here in Australia and I also share very helpful and informative content on moving, living and ultimately thriving here in Australia as a Nigerian. Um, I also host um, Saturday live shows where I bring on other Nigerians and we talk about a wide range of topics, very exciting topics I promise you. We've had a couple, you know, in the past couple of weeks. So stay tuned, I mean, if this is the kind of content that you are interested in, don't forget to like, subscribe and, you know, turn on your notification bell and that way you never get to miss any of my future videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always returning and for, you know, being a part of this growing YouTube family. Um, today's video I'll be talking about how to apply for a visitor visa to Australia. Um, in the month of February the government did open the international borders for fully vaccinated you know tourists, students, just pretty much um, any visa type. The borders have now opened for people to come in so if you've been planning to actually visit Australia you know as a tourist or you even currently live in Australia and you want to apply for like a family member or you want friends and family to visit with you um, and you don't know how to go about it this is the right page you've come to the right um, you know page and this video is actually dedicated to breaking it down and showing you exactly um, the steps on how to apply for Australian visitor visa. So without further ado, um, let's get right into it. Look, I know that the Australian government uh, website, the Home Affairs website, has a lot of information and it can get quickly overwhelming, you know, if you're not the type that likes to do research or do all of those kind of things. Um, and another thing I must mention is that the visa type has pretty much every number you can find in this life so it's really confusing to even identify what kind of visa you're supposed to apply for in the first place so, but don't worry I got you <laughs> I'm here to help you you know the visa has like visa 189 190 728 600 500 and you're wondering where do I begin from so for the focus of this video the visa type that you're looking for is visa subclass 600. So the visitor visa that we're looking at is visa subclass. <coughs> I'm sorry, visa subclass 600. See, it's actually jaw breaking, tongue twisting, you know. Anyway, the visa is 600, so we'll refer to that, you know, moving forward. Um, so yeah, to apply for the visit visa, there's actually multiple types under that visa subclass 600 such as the um, tourist stream which you can apply either in here so you can apply for the tourist stream whilst you're inside Australia and you can also apply from outside Australia there's also the family sponsored stream that one is someone here so someone who is permanent resident or citizen of Australia is sponsoring you to visit to Australia. So that's what I did in my case. So for my mom and my mom-in-law, what we did was the sponsored stream. So the family sponsored stream where my mom and my mom-in-law visited with us back in, I believe, 2019, 2020-ish. Um, there's also the business visitor stream, but and there's other streams as well, but we're not going to go into all of that one. We're just going to stick to the three types, which is the tourist stream that has both, you know, you can apply from inside or outside and then the family stream as well. They're pretty much like similar um, steps. So I'm going to be interchanging, but just bear in mind that I will link everything below that way, if you get confused with what I'm saying, then you can always refer to the links to get further information. But I must also say that whatever I share here is based on my personal research. So make sure to do your due diligence and, you know, read up on your own and get information for yourself before making any type of decision. So that out of the way, 
um, once you identify the visa type which is the sub subclass oh my god I don't know what's happening to me today the subclass 600 you make sure that you check the eligibility so the basic eligibility for each of these visa I mean whether you're applying from inside or you're applying from outside or it's the family sponsored stream basic eligibility is that you must be a genuine visitor so you must be an actual visitor it's not like you're coming here to come and you know jack bow stay but then you're now trying to apply as a visitor so you have to be a genuine visitor and then you have to have sufficient funds to be able to sustain yourself whilst you're here you know during the period that you're going to be here in Australia those are the two basic um, uh, you know criteria that you need to have or be to be able to apply for the visitor visa so I'm going to start from the family um, stream family sponsored option which is the one that I have done you know multiple times and it worked out for me and that's because I've actually gone on to read step by step on the website what I needed to do and I also did you know a, a little bit of research on the internet as well for people who have done it because people have a lot of questions they ask me a lot of questions how many years should I apply for you know how many months are they going to give to me do I need to show my statement of account do I also need to um you know have health insurance for the people that I'm sponsoring to visit with us there's so many questions around there so I'm just going to quickly touch on the main points for the family stream um, visa type so for that visa type again still under the subclass 600 they need to be genuine visitors they can come here you know they can go on a cruise so when I say go on a cruise they can actually go on a cruise interstate across if they want to go on a cruise to every of these states in Australia that's fine they can also even do like a course that's not more than three months um, if they're on that type of visa um, yeah but they cannot work so part of the restrictions of these visitor visa is that they cannot work which is why they need to show proof of um, funds that they can sustain themselves whilst they're visiting here in Australia so you as a sponsor I mean I don't remember them asking us to submit statements of accounts but that was something we you know used our discretion and we did we printed out our pay slips you know myself and my husband and we also showed our bank statements as well to show that we had um, sufficient funds to be able to look after our parents my mom his mom now um, you know when they're here visiting another thing is you can apply for up to 12 months I don't think it exceeds 12 months if you do want to apply for two, uh, more than 12 months there's another visa type for that one but for the subcard 600 visa uh, the family um, sponsored option I don't know why I keep saying family streamed the family sponsored option you can apply for up to 12 months so um, you can apply for six months you can even apply for three months but it's always best to apply for 12 months because yeah you never know um, you know how often you want your parents to come in or how long you want them to stay maybe parents or friends whoever like family members and all of that kind of stuff so yeah um, first of all you need to gather all the documents so if you're the one sponsoring you know for the family sponsored stream then and you're the one putting the application so in my case I did the application for both you know parents and I just made them sign um, one of the documents to say that I was representing them putting in the application um, so in that case the first thing you want to do is to gather all the documents which is the passports um, uh, their any other IDs maybe national identity cards another thing that I got was their passports so the electronic passports um, just because it, there's a point where you would need that as well um, they would need to submit a medical examination test report um, a police report which is not I don't know if that is actually compulsory but that's something that we added as part of the application 
for test of character it does me it does mention on the website something about test of character another document that you need to actually add add to it is your statement of account so so the statement of account of the person so of the applicant now so we adding our own pay slips and bank statements was just out of discretion nobody asked us to do that but you have to show that the person who is coming is able to you know um sufficiently look after themselves so what what i did in my case for my mom's is um to get like assets so documentation showing the assets that they have in nigeria because two things that will prove is that they have a strong tie to to nigeria you know where they're coming from and the case of size not worried that oh okay when this person comes they're not going to want to leave australia and go back to their home country so what i did in both cases is to actually get their documents of like landed properties or you know cars and everything all of those things businesses existing businesses so from both moms they have existing businesses so we did get documentation for that we got landed property documentations for both parents and you know put all of those together and bank statements as well so i believe it was um six months or three months i can't remember now so we did get the bank statement for both of them, you know, just to show that they have sufficient funds to be able to, um, you know, um, look after themselves here in Australia. Another thing we did was to write a letter. So I, I wrote a letter <laughs> stating why, you know, we wanted them to visit and all of that time. So at that time it was because I was pregnant with Keisha, my daughter. So, um, we wanted them to come experience the birth of the baby and all of that stuff so i just put all that you know mushy mushy stuff in a letter and attached it as part of their application again i don't think you should do all like you don't need to go you know to that length or you don't need to do all of that many things that i did but me i'm extra when it comes to putting together application if you know me very well then you know i'm very extra when it comes to things like that so yeah but just make sure like you get the most important things which is the medicals which you're going to have to do in nigeria you'll also do the biometrics the police report i'll say to get it because you never know like even though they mention character test and whatnot it's not part of the list when you're actually doing the documentation which i'll also show you shortly i'll just do a quick clip on what the documentation looks like i'll do like a dummy dummy application so you can quickly see how I put in the application and then it will show you the drop down of the documents and how you're going to attach and you know all that stuff so yeah but just make sure if you can get the police report just have it because yeah you don't want to be in a situation where you apply for a visa and then you're waiting for the outcome and the next thing the case officer is coming to you to say can you get a police report and at that time you're now just having to go and apply and then just save yourself the headache and just get everything ahead of time and if i were you i'll also put it ahead of time i put everything in there so that if they wanted it they would just access it they don't need to come back to me to ask me for those documents which is why i put in extra <laughs> when i put in application so police reports um the medical test so usually for the medical um examination they're more particular about tuberculosis you know or anything that's like viral or you know so i know some people get worried about oh if, if i'm hiv positive would they give me a visa yes they will give you a visa if like you fulfill every other criteria they show that you're going to be a vis you're a genuine visitor and you have sufficient funds they're not discriminatory with health so nobody's going to deny you because maybe you have hiv or you know all of this kind of stuff so yeah, so that out of the way, the medical examination is usually to test for tuberculosis or any of those like really, really infectious um, diseases and all of that 